Hi guys, I'm Jasmine and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make three really fun and colorful cotton candy recipes. You might have seen some awesome cotton candy treats from all around the world over on Bring Me, but we can't travel, so today we're gonna to make them right from home. Let's get started. So we're gonna start with the simple cotton candy rain cloud. I saw this pop up on my Instagram a while back. I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to recreate it. The cafe puts coffee under this white cotton candy that looks like a perfect little cloud, and the steam melts the cotton candy so that it's literally raining sugar into the coffee. I, however, am not a big coffee drinker, so I'm replacing the coffee with royal milk tea today. If you don't like tea, you can use coffee or whatever hot beverage you want. All right, let's make some cotton candy. I got this candy literally just for this video and I am so happy my inner child is screaming. All right, so we're gonna start by adding one hard yellow candy and one tablespoon of super fine white sugar to the center of the cotton candy machine. The machine is going to melt down the candies in the center there and when it flings out, the speed of the spinning will make it super thin and fluffy and we're gonna roll it up like this trying to get it to look like a super beautiful cloud. We have our cloud, look how cute it is. It looks just like a cloud and it looks so nice and fluffy. I wanna eat it right now. So now I'm just gonna put it on this table sign holder and we're gonna set it aside while we make our royal milk tea. We're gonna add a third cup of boiling water over one tablespoon of awesome black tea leaves. We're gonna let this steep for two to three minutes and the leaves will begin to open up and that will help bring the flavors forward. Now I'm grabbing a small pot and we're gonna add in one and a quarter cup of milk, our steep tea, and one teaspoon of sugar. Just gonna give it a little mix. And royal milk tea is different from regular milk tea. With regular milk tea, we usually steep the tea and add in the milk after we're done. For royal milk tea, we are boiling the milk and the tea together. I'm gonna cover my pot and let it heat up until it reaches about right before boiling point. So while we wait for that, let's preheat our teacup so our tea can stay nice and hot. The hotter the tea, the bigger the rainfall from our cotton candy cloud. Just gonna grab my teacup, pour some hot water in there, and we'll empty it before we pour in the royal milk tea. All right, time to make it rain, you guys. I'm gonna pour in the royal milk tea into my preheated cup here. Now we're gonna place it underneath the cotton candy and let the magic begin. Cheers, let's give it a taste. Super creamy, very rich, especially if you have good quality tea leaves. It's not overly sweet as one might think. And also, come on, this was so fun. So for this next cotton candy recipe, we're gonna be making a cotton candy ice cream sandwich. This one is an ode to the fair foods because I miss the summer county fairs. And this is essentially just an ice cream cookie sandwich, but instead of the cookies, you have cotton candy. And I know it seems like a lot, a lot of sugar because it is. Let's not dwell on it. It's 2020, we've seen scarier. So going back to our cotton candy machine, which I've already let heat up again, let's drop in two pink candies. Turn it back on. This is so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna stick it in 45 degree angle and then slowly roll it around. And I'm gonna take it off and press it into this three inch round mold. There it is all nice and compact. And now let's do it again with the blue. Again, making sure it's nice and compact. And we're good. Let's go get our ice cream. So you might have seen this trick before, but we're going to use a serrated knife and we're gonna cut a one inch disc into the entire pint. Once you have that, we're gonna remove the packaging. The bottom layer is going to be the blue cotton candy. I'm gonna put it right on top, right there and then top it with our pink cotton candy. That is massive. I'm just gonna 
press it down. Once your cotton candy ice cream sandwich looks something like this, we are ready to move on to the next step. I'm gonna pour in a third cup of sprinkles into a Tupperware. Look how pretty these are. There's like little unicorn heads, pretty pastel colors. So the last step is to take our cotton candy ice cream sandwich and just roll it into the sprinkles. You could do it nice and slow and just make sure it's all nice and covered. And there you have it, a cotton candy ice cream sandwich. This looks really good. I love the pink and blue classic cotton candy flavors. We have unicorn ice cream and unicorn sprinkles, which I think are absolutely adorable. Let's take a bite. Cheers. Mmm. I've never had anything like this before. Wow. It's so sweet. I love it. Mmm. And that's enough for me. <laughs> All right guys, we've reached the final cotton candy recipe for today and this is the cotton candy cake. I put it in quotes because it's not a real cake, but it'll be presented like a cake before we get to eat it like regular cotton candy. All right, the cotton candy machine has finished heating up. I'm gonna turn it off so I can add in the white coloring, which is a yellow candy and fine white sugar. I always get really anxious because I'm not sure when it'll start spitting out the, the cotton candy. Why is it crying? Are you okay? Oh, I don't know how to help you. Ah. This cake recipe is a little labor intensive because you can't just make all the colors at once. We're going to need to make it and then put it in a Tupperware because if we leave it out, the cotton candy will melt. This is the best day of my life! This is so cool! <laughs> I have my first color and I'm grabbing this six inch deep Tupperware and I'm just gonna slide this in here and then press it in. I'm not gonna press it in too hard. And while we make the other colors, we're going to cap our Tupperware. So it's airtight and we're gonna put it in the fridge. This way it won't melt. Let's start with the purple so that when we invert it, we can have our Roy G. Biv on our cotton candy. I'm gonna start with three purple candies. Okay guys, I laid out all the candies I have. I ran out of purple, so I mixed red and blue and I know you might be thinking, wow. She's really good, but somehow I got white. I'm just gonna keep adding more red and blue, hoping that once this really builds up, it'll be purple. I feel like the color becomes more prominent when there's more stuck together. You know what, this looks more purple than the purple candy did, so I'm happy with this. Okay, it definitely looks purple now, so we're gonna put this in the Tupperware and then do the rest of the colors. We have our final layer here. We're just going to put it on the top of the Tupperware, press it down with the lid. Now we are going to take the lid off of our, oh no! There we go, nothing happened. Now let's invert it. So once you figure out how many slices you want, you can go ahead and stick your little candles in there. I am doing six. And on top of our candles here, we're going to add in our flames, which I have assorted gummies for. A peach one can go here. You can do cherry over here. Watermelon on either side. Oh, so cute. And those will be your candles. And there you have it, a cotton candy cake. Now we can just take a slice right here. You can eat your flame. I'm gonna eat the rest like regular cotton candy. Mmm, the purple layer changes colors throughout because I had that trouble with the purple candies in the beginning and mixing colors, but it actually turns out quite cute. I think this cotton candy cake is a really fun way to play up cotton candy and the rainbow colors are so vibrant. Mmm. All right guys, there you have it. Three must try cotton candy recipes. Again, if you don't have a cotton candy machine, no worries at all. All of these recipes work with pre-made cotton candy. If you end up making any of these, make sure to take a picture and tag me on Instagram. And if you wanna see more of my content, make sure to subscribe to Bring Me. Bye guys. Oh yes.